So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, if you see Brave open, you just want to close it. So you may scroll down to find it. But if you do see Brave, you want to click on it once and then click on end task. And then you want to click on the details tab and then do the same thing. If you see Brave open, you want to right click on it and then click on end process tree. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do all the updates the computer may have. And now for the third method, you want to head over to search and type in Brave. You want to right click on it and then click on open file location. And then you want to find Brave again. You want to right click on it again and then click on open file location again. And now you want to find Brave again. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on compatibility. And then you want to tick run this program in compatibility mode and run this program as administrator and the super full optimizations. And under run this program in compatibility mode, you want to select Windows 8. So you want to tick order this and then click on OK. And now you should not open up Brave. Click on Yes. And then see if this fixes your problem. And now for the next method, first you want to head over to search and then type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on Yes. Now you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on Enter. Then you want to run the scan. Now you want to head over to search again and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters and then you want to find the network and internet troubleshooter. Click on run and if any problems come up, it will tell you to fix it. Now once you complete this and the CMD scan, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.